I would like to start by asking you a couple of questions. Do you sometimes find yourself multitasking while you study? Do you sometimes feel you can't remember much even though you've been reading all day? Have you set goals you haven't had the time to meet? Do you find it difficult asking someone else to do your tasks? Do you sometimes find it hard to study and or deciding on what to focus on? If the answers to most of these questions is yes, keep watching because I'm going to show you a tested and proven way to prioritize tasks while you're studying. Hi guys, welcome to Dental Storm. Earlier I asked a couple of questions. Those questions bordered on the fact that a lot of us have issues differentiating between tasks that are essential and those that simply waste our time. This becomes evident when we have to meet those deadlines we set for ourselves prior to that all-important exam. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to prioritize tasks while studying using the Eisenhower Decision Matrix. In my previous video, How to be more productive part 2, I mentioned that it was a strategy developed by Dwight Eisenhower, the 54th President of the United States of America. The matrix helps determine the outcome of one's daily tasks as well as helps to target not just productivity but effectiveness. Let's start. Creating a matrix involves making a 2x2 two two square, 4 quadrants, where on the columns are urgent and not urgent, while on the rows are important and not important. In quadrant 1, urgent and important tasks must be done immediately. In quadrant 2, not urgent but important tasks can be scheduled on a calendar. In quadrant 3, urgent but not important tasks should be delegated or automated, while in quadrant 4, not urgent and unimportant tasks should not be done. In case there's some confusion, I'll explain the difference between urgent and important tasks. Urgent tasks are those tasks that require prompt action and must be completed in the shortest possible time. Not finishing urgent tasks can lead to severe consequences. However, important tasks need time, strategy and tact to be carried out. Completing it requires careful planning and economy of resources. Some examples of urgent and important tasks include 1. At last minute, a presentation given to you to be ready the next day. 2. Rushing back home because you left the windows in your room open and your books are on the table near the window as it is about to rain. 3. Having only a couple of minutes to complete registration for your upcoming exams. Now let's pause for an urgent and important task. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, share and like this video. Don't forget to leave a comment. Ok, let's get back to the video. Let's continue. Not urgent but important tasks include those tasks that enable you to develop your skills as well as add to your intellectual growth. They may not have set deadlines but may have an eventual impact on the progress of your goals. Some examples include long-term planning for your exams, attending presentations and seminars, also attending update programs. All these, like I said earlier, can be scheduled at appropriate dates. Urgent but not important tasks are often not set by you and don't necessarily help you reach those medium to long-term goals of yours. 
It makes you feel like your daily life is not within your control. Therefore, they are best delegated to someone else to do for you or automated by means of a virtual assistant. Some examples include answering texts, routine emails or messages on Facebook, attending association meetings, unwanted distraction from fellow colleagues, and receiving notifications from apps on your phone while studying. Not urgent and not important tasks are those you should not do because they are just a waste of time. They simply eat out of your precious study time without adding any value to your intellectual development. Now, some examples include unwittingly checking through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and others. Endless hours of watching television and playing video games. Don't get me wrong, even though the fourth quadrant may seem unnecessary as you try to prioritize your activities during your study session, it can be set aside to include all your distractions. This can be used effectively, especially when you take breaks from studying. Now, with all that I've said so far, you'll be better able to plan as well as organize your activities as you prepare for your exams. Using the Eisenhower decision matrix will help you prioritize these activities and will enable you to achieve your long-term goal of passing your exams.